Rottweilers and pit bulls are two popular breeds that have a bad rap. Contrary to what some believe, both canines have a lot to give including endless amounts of affection and unwavering loyalty. Stuck between the two breeds are simply curious about what sets them apart. Whatever the reason, we have broken the two dogs' necks from coat colorings to personalities, not to mention a brief glimpse into the history of each breed. Comparison Depending on gender, with females typically weighing less than males, Rottweilers can weigh anywhere between 80 to 100 pounds. Pipples generally weigh between 30 and 80 pounds, making them much lighter than Rottweilers. Height In terms of height, Rottweilers will grow to be anywhere between 22 and 27 inches. Again, the height of this breed can depend on its gender, with males often being taller than females. On the other hand, Pipples will grow anywhere between 17 24 inches. Coat Type One big difference between the Rottweiler and Pipple is their coats. A Pipple has a single short coat, whereas the Rottie has a short Dell code. The Rottweiler is likely to shed much more than the Pipple, especially during shedding seasons. Therefore, you can expect to groom a Rottie more frequently. Colorings A purebred Rottweiler will primarily be black but mixed with either mahogany, rust, or tan. Pipples can come in all colors, including blue, red, tan, fawn, white, brown, gray, etc. Markings the Rottweiler has no mark variations according to the American Kennel Club breed standard. However, pipples can be either one color or have spots and patches of varying colors. Interestingly, pipples can have a beautiful brindle pattern of shades of brown and black. Personality Personality is a deciding factor for some aspiring owners. So next, you can find a breakdown of each dog's personality, including intelligence and social interaction tendencies. Temperament both dogs are especially loving and adore spending time with their favorite humans. Although, a big difference here is that a Rockwiller is a born guard dog and perhaps won't warm up to strangers quickly. On the other hand, in a Pipple's eyes, every human is a potential best friend and will approach others willingly. Intelligence There's no doubt that both of these breeds are intelligent. Rottweilers especially are immensely intelligent dogs that love to learn and will revel in being valued and efficient guard dogs. Sociability Both dogs are known to be incredibly affectionate with their families but a Pipple is more inclined to get along with other pets and young children. This doesn't mean to say that Rottas will detest spending time with kids and other dogs, but a Pipple is a lot more playful and will always jump at the chance to run around or play frisbee. There's a reason they are known as nanny dogs after all. Something worth noting is that Pipples are prone to separation anxiety, since they love nothing more than to follow their humans around. Being away from them can be triggering. Those with extreme anxiety may resort to excessive barking or even destruction of furniture, which is why they require firm training. Exercise Needs Pit Bulldog Jumping the Obstacles While Practicing Agility and Playing in the Dog Park The Rockwhaler and Pit Bull are considered to have a moderate energy level and will, therefore, not need copious amounts of exercise. Having said that, they will need at least an hour a day, including long walks or even a high-energy play session. There is one significant difference. Since the Rockwhaler has been a working dog for generations, they will crave exercise that involves a mental challenge. The great way to keep them stimulated would be by getting them involved with dog sports. This doesn't mean that the pit bulls generally won't enjoy challenges, but they are just as happy chasing a ball or playing frisbee. Dietary Requirements All powerful dogs require a specific diet to support their immune systems and fuel their muscles. Owners of either breed need to pay close attention to what they are feeding their canine companion and switch to more suitable food as they reach particular ages. Note on feeding pit bulls, in some cases, finding the appropriate diet for pit bulls may be a challenge as they can begin to suffer from allergies. These allergies can often be caused by food, resulting in some awfully uncomfortable and painful symptoms. Since pit bulls are prone to allergies, it's imperative that dog owners keep on what they are feeding their fur friend and any symptoms that may become apparent. Training needs Canine education is imperative in any dog breed's life, but it's considered more important for those who already have some stigma. This is why it's necessary to provide proper training for both the Rottweiler and Pitbull from an early age. Basic training, socialization, and obedience training are the key classes you must invest in as a dog owner. Not only will these classes teach your dog important lessons, but they are also excellent ways to bond with your pup. In addition, these lessons will prevent bad behaviors and teach them the proper way to interact with other animals and people. Grooming needs An adult man is combing and massaging a Rottweiler dog with a special mitten. The Rottweiler will need tending to more than the pit bull, thanks to its double coat and shedding tendencies. For most of the year, the Rottweiler will shed moderately but significantly more during particular seasons. Therefore, it's necessary to brush a Rottie at least once a week and bathe it regularly. Pit bulls have a single coat that sheds very little and does not need constant upkeep. The occasional bath may be necessary when they get dirty, 
but they won't need a schedule. Although pit bulls won't need as much attention, it's worth noting that if they develop allergies, they can shed profusely. This will require alternative care rather than just brushing alone as their skin may become sensitive. This might include sensitive shampoos in conjunction with regular bathing, medication, and a managed diet. Which is the right dog for you? Both breeds are considered devoted companions but are not generally recommended for first-time dog owners due to their specific needs. For those that are experienced and are looking for a family dog, both are suitable options. But the American Pit Bull Terrier is especially great with kids. How else did they earn the title of nanny dog? However, if you're looking for a playful yet devoted guard dog type, the Rothweather is for you. A Pit Bull is a loyal, playful people-orientated companion instead of a canine bred for completing jobs and tasks. The Roddy is also extremely loyal but will create mental stimulation since it was once put to work as a guard or herding dog. Overall, either breed will make a wonderful family pet, and the decision is ultimately up to you. Thank you everyone for watching us till the end. It would be a great pleasure for us if you were a little help with this video. Comment us below.